Hi there, I'm Brittany and this is Emily and we're two of Festival's Dietitians and today we have a decadent dessert recipe with a secret ingredient. Avocados! Absolutely, so today we're making very rich dark chocolate avocado brownies. So, so far all we've done to get started is preheated our oven to 350 degrees. So let's just get right into it. Sure. So the first ingredient is some sugar. We're just gonna beat that with several eggs. And today we're just gonna use our hand mixer. And we're just gonna um, mix it up until it's nice and foamy. That's probably good. Looks good. All right, and so we melted some dark chocolate chips earlier, and these are just gonna go in while you're mixing. Smells so good. I know, I kind of want to lick the spatula. Put it all in there. Okay. That's good. All right, so we're going to set this over. Next comes the elbow grease part. Yeah. So mixing in our flour and cocoa powder. And we're using uh, all-purpose gluten-free flour, but you can also use whole wheat flour in this recipe. Totally, or whole wheat pastry flour. Um, and this just gets folded in. And then I'm also just gonna add this in before I mix it too much. We have a little bit of vanilla, and we're just gonna add a little bit of salt to cut the sweetness. Nice. And this is a really thick batter, like we said, it's really decadent, so you're going to definitely see that when you're trying to mix this. While you're doing that, I'm going to get to kind of the star of the recipe, our avocados, and just mash them. So I have two avocados that are just peeled and pitted, and I'm going to mash them in this bowl because that's going to get added to our batter. Now the avocados in this recipe are taking place of butter or sugar that you'd find in a normal homemade brownie recipe. And they're also adding in some heart healthy fats and some fiber, fiber, and vitamins and minerals. Right. It's so a great way to add some vegetables to your dessert. Right. And we love doing that. So once these are all mashed up, I can go ahead and add that in. So this looks all mixed up. Are we ready to add that mashed avocado? Yep. I think it's mashed just how we want it. Put this in there switch over to my spatula just to get that last little bit. And once this is all mixed in, you're not going to see any green at all. So no one's going to be able to tell there's avocado in this brownie, in this brownie mix. Another great thing this avocado does is it adds a lot of moisture to this recipe. So it's going to make really moist, thick brownies. Okay, and then so lastly, we're going to add our toasted chopped walnuts. So this gives us a crunch to kind of cut through the richness of those brownies. And all we did was just stick them on a baking sheet and put them in the oven for about 10 minutes or just until they got fragrant. Right. I also like adding walnuts to these brownies because it adds more of those heart healthy fats. It adds some protein. So you gotta love that. And these are really decadent brownies, so it adds a nice crunch and kind of breaks up the texture a little bit. Totally. So I'm just gonna move that over here and spray our pan. Yeah. And we chose to go with a nine by 13 inch baking dish um, because like we've been saying, these brownies are really rich. So a uh, smaller, like a nine by nine pan or an eight by eight pan will just make thicker brownies. So having a bigger pan um, just kind of makes the brownies a little bit thinner, so it's not such a big chunk of chocolate, but it definitely, if that's something you want, by all means, use an eight by eight pan. All right. Just this is such a thick out. batter, yes. Absolutely. Okay, so once this is all nice and spread out, we're just gonna pop it in the oven for 30 minutes or until uh, a toothpick that's stuck in the center comes out clean. Take this for Take you. that for me and I'll go put this in the oven. And here is what they look like when they're all done. All right, let's give them a taste. Sounds good to me. Oh my goodness. Mm. So rich and chocolatey. They're so delicious. You can't even tell there's avocado in here, but they're so no. moist. Yummy. 
Well, we hope you give these lightened up brownies a try. And this is a recipe that you can definitely eat well with at Festival Foods.